guys welcome back to my channel it's me Cory and welcome if you're new here I love to share my stationaries fountain pens stickers and everything that interests me so for today's video I found this um, Crayola broad um, markers but they are all in neutral colors this uh, I got this idea from Crafts Delight from Philippines. She's a sticker shop owner. And I asked her what are those um, <laughs> that she swatched on her IG. I'm gonna link it up. Um, the I mean, I'm gonna show that picture. So I was so um, curious because it's all in subtle colors. And they are, you know, there's no bright greens or, or especially this. It has to, uh, it's a 24 set markers um it's called colors of the world markers um so this is i think their newest if not last year's release i'm not so sure about that but i just heard about this um last year and yeah i got it from amazon japan for around 13 dollars for a set so it's really a good deal um if you know i have love for brush pens um Tombow Sailor. So I collected uh, different kinds of colors in the past, bright colors, and you know I can do watercolor or no, not watercolor. Like I I use it in my planners and journals. But for this one, it's my newest acquisition of the markers because it's been a while. I haven't bought even a single Tombow. So today I'm gonna swatch it with you guys. So in case you're curious as well, these are the colors medium almond medium deep rose light medium almond light medium rose light almond light rose so it's all very very pastel colors and they do have dark ones deep almond extra deep golden extra deep rose so all of these i'm gonna swatch it in and add it in my collection journal um you can sit sit and relax and you know I'm gonna show you later on each um, color swatch. So let's begin. So it comes in three sets of box. Let's just put this in there. And <clears throat> by the way, these are off limits for my kids. <laughs> so they have their own Crayolas like this but washable and for school and they have those thin ones i do have those a lot of colors before but they i gave it to them and it's everywhere now so it's divided into three carton box i'm not sure why they have divided it but let us check it out are you guys also interested in with brush pens and markers so if you do love them this is a good deal it has all these colors and let's, let's just watch it swatch it later on here you go yep so there are six seven eight per box and yeah so 24 total what i do love about this is they are all skin tone colors you know <laughs> i hope let's get one that they do name it somewhere that we can see but i doubt it if they do so it's gonna be a challenging swatch time because we're just gonna refer it here okay so god knows where what is this <laughs> it's gonna be a guessing game because unlike tumbles and sailors and other brands they do name it in the pen so this is just one end it's not two end marker 
wait they do name it but oh yeah it's here i'm blind deepest almond medium golden so that makes our life easy easier so it's a broad type of markers so just so you know the crayola has this thin one as well like the one that the most planner guys always use so this is a good with comparison if you want to see how come it's not closing properly mm, okay and this is the width of the broad and this is the thin one the before one okay so let us also compare it with tumbles tumbles are here okay tumbles are long and thin if you're familiar with tumbles so this is short and fat <laughs> and for the sailors who has uh, sailors here guys you do have a sailor okay nails are damaged it's fine okay let me get anything any color this is the shikiori one if you want to compare the size okay so because the, my crayola is the new west let's begin swatching them i'm gonna put you with the music and while i do this and i'll be back later on try it on in a fountain pen in a gel pen and let's say you use tombow as well marking or headers for your headers okay so this tree if you are the type to use markers after writing in your planners then let's do the pen test here so let's just say crayola fountain pen obviously we're gonna let it dry for a while for some time we're not gonna directly mark it and this is the crayola on a gel pen and a Crayola on a 
tumble a brush pen um yeah this is brush pen so let's just choose the light a lighter color this is the medium golden so let's try it in the fountain pen <laughs> oh amazing it's not blood it's not maybe a little bit of feathering guys but it holds up well one factor is the rhodia paper maybe now we'll do in the gel pen gel pen can even gel pen has blood or you see that black shadowy okay um this is a uh, color verse ink in my esterbrook pumpkin latte it's the redwood forest so very good crayola tumble brush pen in the tumble brush pen also nothing so you can easily use this these markers in your planners let's try putting the markers first if the pen holds up the ink so we'll use this is the fountain pen haha <laughs> feathered all the way this is hope you can see sorry my frame, my frame. this is the gel pen and the tumble so fountain pen failed in this category it has badly feathered gel pen is perfect 100% when you write it on top of the marker as well as the tumble so if you're using not all disclaimer a fountain pen and then you mark it with these Crayola markers it's good with the Rhodia paper and this ink color verse gel pen it's like, like how many seconds dried it still bled tombow is fine for both so it's just to give you an idea if you want to try these markers for your planners or your journal so i love these colors that's why i got them and i'm sure some are just redundant and you know this <laughs> i don't know it's for coloring skin tone maybe can do if you do sketching but even the packaging they all look very like 10 percent difference only so for sure these are not gonna be fully used except for this this corner can be for journaling markers and this one can be coloring you cannot use this as highlighters only this 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 kind of shades i mean yeah for the tone itself you cannot see your writing if you highlight it with this obviously so yeah i hope you learned something from today's from this this um first impression on these markers and let me know if you have any more questions i'm sorry i'm sorry it's not really clear here because of the yellowish rhodia paper but yeah i hope you get the idea of this colors shades if you want to you buy this um set because i know they have different sets and this one really got me so thank you so much for, for hanging out with me and doing this unboxing of my new markers and i'll see you on my next one don't forget to like and subscribe bye